What's happening guys, Dan Debenham here. We're gonna do this today. So as you can see, it's pretty effective. It's quite an effective technique to sort of uh, highlight and express detail in a, sh in a scene without actually sort of narrating that detail to the viewer. So without further ado, let's jump into Premiere Pro now. Let's get into it and let's see how we do it. So in Premiere Pro on your timeline, you've got the two clips that you actually want to use. One, like me, you've got one which is a wide angle shot and then you've also got one which is a close-in shot. But you're wanting to zoom into those. We're, wanting, we're not wanting a straight cut like we've got. We're wanting to make sure that it actually zooms in. So what we're going to do is we're going to select the first clip, the clip that we want to play first. So this is the one we're going to transition from. We're going to select that. I'm going to drag it onto video two or whatever track is above the one you want to transition to, i.e. the second clip. Then what we're going to do is we're just going to zoom in where the clip meets. So we're just going to get a little bit further in, like we are there. And we've got it so that we've got to a point where, as you can see, I've got my foot is down on the floor. On the floor. So I've got this foot down here and then I've got this foot down here as well at the same time. So what I'm going to do is, I know that's that, there it is. So I'm in the middle and I'm at the actual cut. I'm just going to go back three frames. Now you can zoom right in and you can see these little lines here, which is individual frames, or you can just hit the arrow key three times. So it's one, two, three. So we're going to go back three frames and I'm just going to drag this back in to play. So this is now over the top of this uh, next clip. And as you can see, it's just a, still a straight cut, even though it's um, it's now a J cut. It's still, there's no sound. So it's it's basically just a straight cut. Um, but we want to make sure that this actually zooms. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on this clip here. We're going to come up to our effects panel, click position and scale. And we're going to make sure we're at the beginning of this three frames. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go back here. Now we've gone forward three frames, but we can't see our original clip. We can't see this clip here now because obviously we're at the beginning of it. So we're just going to go forward one frame and we're temporarily going to drag this out one frame so we can see it. So we're now at three frames and we've got one extra frame effectively so we can see what we're doing. And we're going to get the um, opacity and we're just going to drop the opacity down to probably... Well, so you can see both, um, but you can see through and you can see the clip underneath. So that is this clip. This bit here is this second clip that we're going to transition into. So we we'll click the first clip again. So this is this. This is your original wide shot. And what we're going to do now is we're going to scale that up so that it's roughly about the same size. And we're going to shift it into position. So we're going to move it about. And it doesn't have to be particularly accurate. It just has to be almost as it is on there. Then what we're going to do is we're going to drag this back, the one frame that we've missed. And effectively bring up the opacity to 100% so we can see the clip full again. And in essence, we're pretty much done. And that's it, that's it. It's a pretty simple effect, it ain't earth shattering. It's just very effective. It's a way of, as I said before, sort of expressing detail, but without being too narrative about it. So you're not, you're not sort of saying, look at this, this is what you need to see, but you're actually showing it without actually doing that. And the viewer sort of gets the indication, in my case, that I'm gonna be taking some photos or that I'm filming something or that there is something that the viewer needs to pick up. It's a pretty simple shot. And it's just two, two shots married together to make it look like it sort of transitions from one to the next pretty quick. So with that, hope you did enjoy it. Hope it was useful and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace! Welcome, Mr. Bond. <laughs> Is it a shit crashing zoom? Is it? Is that what I would call it? Chopping? Chopping into a shot?
doing two shots and make it look like you've chopped into a shot. Ah. So without further ado, let's get into Photoshop and let's see how we do it. And by Photoshop, I mean Premiere Pro.